We don't tax retirement income in the state of Pennsylvania. No, we're not. You can roll those pensions back. If Rendell did it, and from what I remember, Rendell, you know, did it kind of in the middle of the night or something, that I don't know why you, you're saying we're obligated to pay it. Why can't we just, if there's no money, there's no money. We just roll back the pensions to where they were before. If I, I hear what you're saying, and I would invite you to come to Harrisburg and come to my office and sit down. A couple of attorneys and they will explain. I'm not an attorney. It's, it has to do with constitutionality. The, 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 the pension vote that took place in 2001 gave benefits. We do not constitutionally have the right to take those benefits away. I don't agree with that. My boss takes well, benefits away when he doesn't have the money. But it's not a government entity. That's the problem. And I, I'm, I'm only the messenger, and I'm. I'm I spend a lot of money privately with attorneys, and sometimes my attorneys don't tell me what I like to hear. And sometimes I like look at my attorney and say, you know, I hear what you're saying, I'd really like to choke you, but you've been my attorney for a long time and you've kept me out of trouble. I'm, I'm only telling you what I'm being told. There are, and that's, you know, it, I, would, I would invite you to come to Harrisburg and, and hear from the legal people. Now, let's say we decide to pull some fast one and we and we and we try something with the pensions, there's a there is a 190% chance. Now I'm not saying 100 percent I'm saying 190% chance that the states the state Supreme Court is going to overturn anything we do. Because guess what? We lost the Supreme Court. So but I'm I'm just I'm, I'm being I'm being I'm being honest with you and I'm not going to stand here and tell you, well maybe we could do this. There is we 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 are in a box. And, and I will tell you that, that when I look back at that 2001 pension vote, I just can't, what were people thinking when they voted in 2001? So I, I, I appreciate your comment, and please, I invite you, we will give you, my chief of staff will give you my card. I would love you to come to Harrisburg, and there's a way, trust me. I have also investigated, can Pennsylvania file bankruptcy? Listen, when Bethlehem Steel filed bankruptcy, they had 20,000 people that weren't working that were getting benefits and 10,000 people working. Bankrupt bankruptcy really solves a lot of problems. Constitutionally, we can't file bankruptcy. If I could introduce a bill that would allow Pennsylvania to file bankruptcy, I would do it. I'd, I'd, I'd be back and do it tonight. But that's, we have, this has been, this has been, we, we are put in a box. And I'm the messenger, but I'm telling you, I'm determined. We're going we're to figure this out in some way. The, the other problem we have is, and this really, this this really angers me to a certain degree. We don't tax retirement income in the state of Pennsylvania, okay? But you know what really upsets me is the two guys that are getting pensions from Penn State. The one guy, 477, 477,000 a year, and 455,000 a year. Do you think they can afford to pay 3% tax on their pensions? So Jason and I looked in, G Jason and I, my chief of staff, looked into taxing pensions over for retirement income over 50,000. 50, we can't do it constitutional because there's, you can't, it's, you're selecting. I mean, I'm a business guy and in my world, I